What are some things that you would say have kept you in spiritual bondage and what was your process of getting out of it? McKenna. I had lived the gospel my whole life. I was baptized. I served a mission. I got married in the temple. And so I had made all of the little progressions in, in the gospel and I was staying on the covenant path and then I ended up getting divorced after three months of being married. And that wasn't in my plan. I didn't want to be divorced. I didn't want to lose my eternal companion. I felt like that was God's plan for me, was to have an eternal companion. So during that time, I was very confused. I was very lost. And, um, you know, little by little, I resented God a little bit more. So then I had stopped going to church for a little bit. I had um, put my scriptures away for a while. But then, um, kind of like what we've been talking about, um, I just remembered, you know, who I was. I, I realized that a little bit more of my identity was gone. Um, I used to be that girl that would play the piano for church. And um, I used to, you know, bear my testimony often. And when those things weren't happening in my life anymore, I just realized that I was different. Obviously, I wasn't in physical bondage, but spiritually, you know, mm -hmm. I, I was angry. I wasn't myself. So I think I felt like I was in bondage because I knew something was wrong and I didn't know how to fix it. Wow. I didn't have the solution to solve my problem. And so I was in bondage feeling like it still wasn't resolved. And but when I realized who I could turn to and who I could go to, that, that's the savior, you know, the savior obviously knew and understood where I was coming from. And so once I softened my heart, I was able to turn to him and to make better choices.